Lovely people, once again, it is our studies in English language. We are looking at grammar, and today, specifically, we are going to talk about double comparison. Now, before we delve into double comparison, it is imperative that we look at what comparison is. Many a time, speakers do compare one person to another, or one thing to another. And in doing so, basically, we use adjectives. So we have adjectives here. All these words here are adjectives. We have the comparative form and then the superlative. So when we are comparing two things, you use what? The comparative. Either the ER, you add it to the adjective, which is a one or two syllabic word. Or if it is more than two syllables, you use what? The EST, almost, depending on the word. So I can say that Chelsea is better than Manchester United. I'm comparing the two using better. So the comparison here is the two teams using better. I can say that Barcelona played better than Manchester United. So I'm comparing the two based on performance. So this is comparative using two things. But when I use three, then I can say that Juliet Ibrahim is the prettiest among the three ladies. So she's the prettiest. I've mentioned three ladies. She together with other two ladies. Now, the point is that I use prettiest because I have three. So we have prettiest. I've compared what? Three things. And that is about that. Now, that is about comparison. Um, I remember this song, The Vido. No, not The Vido. I think we risk it. He said, Auntie, they, 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 I'm the baddest boy. What is he telling the whole world? Among everyone in the world, males, he is the baddest. He didn't say I'm the most baddest. And that is what we want to talk about, which is what? Double comparison. Now, if I say that Juliet Ibrahim is prettier than Nana Abba Anamwa or vice versa, I've compared the two. But when, which is the ER, I've added the ER to pretty, which is the adjective, I've compared the two. But when I say that Juliet Ibrahim is more prettier than Nana Abba Anamwa or vice versa, then what I've done is what? Double comparison. Because I've used ER, which is in itself a comparison. Then I'm, I've also added more. So you say she is more, which is comparison, the use of more. Then you are saying prettier again. So the two you have used, the conglomeration of the two is a grammatical anomaly. Therefore, you cannot say that someone is more prettier. I can say that um, Jose Moreno is the most best coach in the world. When I do that, it's wrong. Why? Because I say best which is I'm comparing him to a number of coaches out there. Then I am also using most. When that happens, it is what? Double comparison. So let's look at a few examples of double comparison. We have something like um, bad. Uh, if it is uh, irregular, it will be worse. So I can say that Graham Potter is a bad coach. Then I can say that Graham Potter is worse compared to Jose Mourinho or Tuchel. So it's worse. I'm comparing the two worse. But when I bring the word more and I say that Graham Potter is more worse than somebody, then I've done what? Double comparison. Grammatically, it's unacceptable. You don't say more worse, more prettier. Let's say Tokyo is the most largest city among the four cities. It's the most largest. Largest here is compared. Then I'm adding what? Most again. This is what you call what? Double comparison. Some time ago in Ghana, there is a program that you call um, Ghana Most Strongest. But thank God that somebody alerted them that no, it can't be most strongest. Because if you say strongest, you have compared the number of boys or men who participate in that competition already. Therefore, the usage of most makes it grammatically uh, unacceptable. And so that anomaly has been what? Uh, corrected, that they rectified. So you can say Ghana most strongest. I can say that I am more stronger than, let's say, a guy I'm going to compete with. That is unacceptable. So we can say that Ronaldo is the best of all time, or Messi is the best of all time. Messi is this or that. But if I begin to say, or I add the word most and say that Messi is the most best of all time, I'm in trouble. Or let's say, I don't know why some people say that uh, Messi or Ronaldo is a goat. How can you ascribe a goat to a human being? In any way, it's unacceptable. Uh, how can you call somebody who is a, a star, a star, or if you like the best player in the world, you call him a goat? Why not both? So instead of saying greatest of all time, we say what? Best of all time. 
So let's go back to the traditional orthodox saying by everyone, greatest of all time. So Messi is the greatest of all time. That's fantastic. Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. That's fantastic. But when I try to use most and say that Ronaldo is the most greatest, Messi is the most greatest, I'm in trouble. I have done what we call grammatically unacceptable sentence. I have used a grammatically unacceptable sentence. So that is what we call double comparison. So big, bigger, biggest. I don't know what you have as a man, but it may be bigger than another person. And so when you begin to say that, oh, he has whatever, and he is more bigger, whatever he has is more bigger than someone, you are in trouble. That is what you call double comparison. So from today forward, let's study this and use it right. I see it in a number of Nigerian movies, and I love Nigerian movies so much. And I believe that some people or many people out there will learn from this. So that from today forward, we use more or E-R or most or what E-S-T instead of con uh, conjoining the two. And that is about double comparison. Thank you so much for your attention. Now, the confusion about the using of um, double comparison arises as a result of um, the, the degree or the extent to which something happened. The emotion. Someone wants to tell you that, ah, looking at what is happening in Chelsea Football Club, looking at the galaxy of players that they have, and Porter still cannot deliver, then it is an apology to say that the coach is what? Um, worse than, uh, if you like, uh, Tuckel, or worse than any other coach. Now, somebody, in an attempt to say this, he wants to be emotional. He wants to show the degree. So he says that, um, how do you call it? Graham Potter is much, sorry, most worst coach. So most. Most worst. When that happens, it is what? Double what? Comparison. Because the worst in itself is acceptable. And the person is using this to show the emotion, the degree to which the person is what? It's not good. Or the degree to which the person is bad. So instead of using the most, you go for what? Much. So I can say that um, Graham Porter is much worse than what? Um, if you like Tokyo. Then I'll go for this one because I'm talking about two people here. But when I'm talking about more than two, comparing all the Chelsea managers all this while, then I can say that um, Graham Porter is, uh, if you like, much worse. I use the T. Uh, among all the coaches that ever what? Monday Chelsea. So, instead of using the most or the more, so Juliet Ibrahim is um, prettier than somebody, instead of saying that, uh, instead of using the term more prettier, I would say that much prettier. You use the much instead of the more or the most, in addition to what? The comparative or the superlative. And that is about the rectification of this double comparison that arises. All right.